hey this is Sridhar in this session we will be discussing about the basic difference between the statement level and the row level triggers the statement level trigger the trigger body will be executing only once even if there are one DML operations performed or if n number of DML operations are performed only one time the trigger body will be executing even if there are no rows are affected no DML operations are performed We are performing some DML operations but no rows are affected. Even in that case also the trigger body will be exiting only once. And by default all the triggers we creating are created are statement level triggers. So if you want to write row level trigger then you, you should be writing for each row class in the trigger body. Otherwise by default all the triggers are statement level triggers. And the statement level trigger it will be fired only once even if there are no rows are affected it will be triggered it will be fired even if there are no rows affected even in that case also statement level trigger will be triggered and we cannot use the correlation identifiers as colon old and colon new this kind of correlation identifiers we cannot use it in statement level triggers whereas you can use it in row level triggers and in row level triggers the trigger body will be executed for each and every DML operations performed the row level trigger will be fired based on the number of times the DML operations are performed or you can say that row level triggers are will be fired to the number of records getting affected so that's that much number of times the trigger body will be executing and if you want to write a row level trigger then you should explicitly mention for each row class in the trigger body and the row level trigger will be will not be fired if there are no rows are affected if you are doing some update statement but using that update statement there are no rows affected in that case the trigger body will not be executed even once even for one time also it won't be executed in row level trigger so it will be executed based on the number of times the DML operations are performed or based on the number of times the records getting affected if the rec one record is affected then one time the trigger body will be executing if 10 records are updated then 10 times the trigger body will be executing and we can use identifiers like colon old and colon new in statement level trig sorry we can use correlation identifiers colon old and colon new in row level triggers not statement level sorry in row level triggers you can use it so these are the primary main difference between the statement level and the row level triggers thanks for watching bye